How's it going, everybody? Um, this is going to be a quick video. Um, I will kind of do just a short overview. This is my new rifle. It's a Hawa Superlight. Um, this is in the Cryptek Obscura camo. And it's chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to throw up... Um, I don't know if I'm going to do it in a separate video or I'll just attach it to this video, but I'm going to just show you guys kind of the full build. Basically what I was trying to do is get something lighter weight, obviously. Um, my, my rifle that I have now for hunting, it's a 270. It's a Mossberg 270. I've had it for about 20 years. It's got a really heavy scope on it and with all the accessories. I mean, that thing, I don't have the exact weight cause I don't have, I don't know where my scale is. Otherwise I'd weigh it. And I would actually weigh this also and verify the weight. This this is listed at four pounds, uh, seven ounces. But basically, you know, my other rifle is just, it's just so heavy. And then year after year, whether it's day hunts or overnight trips, it just it it's become pretty cumbersome to lug it around. Um, I'll show you my build items here in a second. I got them on the other side of the bench over there. But basically, when I'm at my full build. According to manufacturer specifications, with the bipod, I should be at between five and three quarter to six pounds for a fully complete rifle, which is awesome. Um, I am going to look for a muzzle brake for it. This barrel is extremely thin. I got to get my calipers and kind of see, um, see what that OD is. It's a very narrow looking barrel. Um, I haven't really seen anything online as far as people with this model rifle getting like a radial muzzle brake or something like that. I don't want this crazy, stupid looking muzzle brake. I'd like to get a radial muzzle brake that will be flush with the barrel. So if anybody um, has any in mind that they know of, please drop that down in the comments. I'd appreciate it. So right off the bat, first impressions, I like the rifle. But I think that there's some things um, that Hawa could work on. First and foremost is the packaging. I ordered this on Grab a Gun, and this is how it shipped. It's just got this real BS packaging with just this real shitty, like, one layer of cardboard. And then the thing is like, it, it just, it, it's like... I don't know. I, I didn't like the way it was held in. It got to my FFL. He opened it up for me. And I looked at it and I was just like, man, I just, I didn't dig it. It's just dog shit. I think it's kind of unacceptable for, you know, I think for the price point, you know, they could have, they could have dropped some foam in here and just, you know, had the, you know, kind of like how Bergara's rifles, I mean, Bergara's doing it right. I mean, they not only make awesome rifles like Howard does, but you know, just a little bit better packaging. I just, I would like a little bit more attention to detail probably doesn't mean a lot to some people um i think it would just mean a lot more to me i think it would look better and just a little bit more uh tidy for the customer right i mean you spend a thousand dollars on a rifle and you know it comes just with this shit this dog shit just packaging i just i, I wasn't happy with that the other thing i'm not happy with is the magazine um you know, the three-round magazine, I'm totally fine with. That's all well and good. My issue with this is you can't find these anywhere. I found it on Midway. I found it on a couple more websites, but they're not selling it. It says product discontinued. I can only find it for sale on Legacy Sports, and it's like $40. $40 with tax and shipping. I think it came out to about $55 for one magazine. I'm not going to pay $55 for one magazine. I can get five AR mags for $55. Um... So I think if anybody from Hawa or Legacy Sports is watching this, you guys need to fine tune this and then you guys need to put a little bit better information for this because if there's other Hawa magazines that are compatible with this, it'd be nice if you listed that information. I know that this is between a short action and a mini action, but if I could use, you know, the other um, five round magazines, like I just, I don't know if they're compatible and they just didn't really do a good job explaining that. So Hala, Legacy Sports, if you guys are watching, um, you guys need to kind of tune this up a little bit because $40 for a magazine, you guys are robbers. Um, and then my last gripe with this 
is the bolt. Now, I know this bolt is kind of shaved down from other Howa models. It's not the same bolt as you're going to have in like the HS Precision or, you know, any of their other rifles. This is completely different for this rifle. Um, <clears throat> the, the gripe that I have, I know it's got that zippery sound, but I've looked at a lot of videos. Mine has this enormous amount of slop in the back end. And what... I'm concerned with is the slightest amount of pressure from one direction or the other, the bolt won't go forward. It, it just like it locks in. And I'm wondering if it's like if I can get this to focus better. The edges of these lugs, they're so sharp. Let me see if I can get this to focus better. They're so sharp. Look at how sharp that is. Like, it's a very small round right here, and it gets caught so easily on the raceways. I'm wondering, if anybody's done this, shoot it down in the comments, because I'm considering it. Um, maybe getting a hand file and trying, or sorry, maybe getting a hand file and maybe trying to round that out a little bit more. Because it just sticks way too easily. Um, I, I think it would be really bad, not only how loud the bolt is. For a rifle in this price point, but um, you know, if, say you say you you know you, you you take a shot on an animal and then you go ahead and uh, you know eject that cartridge and try to reload. I mean, this thing's it just it's sticky, it's wobbly. I just I don't know. I think, and again, I haven't shot it yet, so I'm sure it could smoothen out. You know, people do say, hey, you know. These rifles are great. You know, you put a couple hundred rounds through them and they'll 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 smooth out and it'll just be a pleasure. I mean, this this is going to be my new go-to hunting rifle once I get it built and I'm hoping it shoots lights out, but I I did not buy this rifle with the intention of taking it to the range every Saturday and throwing 100 rounds through it. Um basically, I'm not even starting with factory ammo. Once I get this thing set up, I'm going to take some measurements inside the breech. I'm going to figure out my overall case cartridge length. And I'm just going to start developing loads from there. So I live in California. We can only hunt with non-lead anyway. So I had to I had to get the, the best, heaviest bullets I could find that were non-lead. And I got three different types. I got Barnes, uh, one from Nosler, and then I got Hornaday CX. So I'm going to try the different three with some, you know, different charge weights and kind of see what works and that's it it's a hunting rifle and then for the build um i went with the the javelin light from spartan um i like this because this way i don't have to have a dedicated um bipod that's on the gun full time uh loophole i got the loophole vx3 hd uh three and a half to ten by fifty this got the uh this has the fire dot reticle this thing is amazing I also got the Illumina um, flip caps that go with it. And then uh, I just got the loophole uh, open range um, scope rings. I went with low. I hope they fit well because the other abnormal thing I'm seeing is the pick rail is unusually tall. Um, I have pick rails on other rifles that... You know, I I still need to throw, you know, like medium rings or higher rings to get the scope on. But for some reason, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Um, it seems a lot taller than most rifles. I don't know. Maybe I'm just, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But anyways, um, stay tuned. I'm going to get this thing, uh, I'm going to get this thing built. I'm going to get the uh, scope mounted up and torqued down. And um, I'm going to get everything adjusted and leveled out. Throw the bipod on and I'll be right back.